Welcome to Strawberry Town, ladies and gentlemen. Ross and I are trying to figure out if we have to pay to get in. This gentleman right here is going to tell us, I would imagine. Let it go. Hello, boss. Hey, guys. You have to pay to go in? You want? Yeah. Uh, one people and 40 baht. One people? You see two ticket. people? Uh, one per vehicle or one for? One people and 40 baht. Two people? 80 baht. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay. So I guess we're paying 80 baht to get in guys <laughs> But we're gonna go in here and look around a little bit and uh, Brookside, Valley. Brookside Valley is where we are This is uh, strawberry town also known as strawberry town. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you very much and Here we go looking at Brookside Valley now, is there a place that we're going to park down here, Ross? Or? I don't know. I, don't know. I haven't been here before. I've only seen the pictures, but you can see that the helms oh. look like something right out of Holland. Yeah, man. Check that out. That's so cool. It's like there's a resort, some other stuff down there. What about the uh, House of Dawn? <laughs> That's what it <laughs> says right there. I don't know that those homes are ridiculous, man. These are look, these are bungalows for rent. Cool. So where are the strawberries? <laughs> <laughs> the strawberries grow in the mountains out here. If you want strawberries, go in the mountains. But strawberry season was the winter time. Ah. Uh, strawberry season's over now. But this is cool. We're actually in the mountains, and this is. Are we still in Rayong? We're still in Rayong. Still in Rayong. We are 20 kilometers from the beach, or. 15 miles. 20, there you go, guys. Lobby. Look at that hill. Strawberry Holy Town. Cow. That is a hill right there, that dude. That is really cool. Strawberry Town right there. And these are some cool looking little places around here. Adventureland. You can test your physical endurance. Thank you. You want to test your physical endurance, guys? You can do it right there. That is Adventureland. Oh my god, that looks like fun. And it actually does kind of look like fun, to be honest with you. Pretty cool. Check out some of the houses Do across you know, there. On the right hand side, you know, ATV track that you can rent uh, ATVs. Oh, I can't get it through here. Well, we'll catch it on the way back. Okay. Well, let's go this way. And it looks like. Look at the homes over here. The homes. I don't know if you guys can see all those homes over oh, there. That was they have ice cream and waffles because it's Dutch town. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that does make good sense. Ice cream oh, and waffles. The Dutch are known for their waffles. You know, Belgian waffle. <laughs> That's true. Strawberry Cafe to our left. And we're going to pull right in next to this um, Honda Cube here, the Toyota Cube. Okay. And, ooh, sheep. Uh-oh. Time to get out and look. So this is the Strawberry Cafe. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some cool stuff down here in just a second. Little friendly music playing in the background. And look at this. Is this not a great view? That actually says the Dutch house. It says Holland Village, Amsterdam Market, uh, the Old Town Shop, 1883 to 1958. Very, very beautiful place here. Very beautiful place. Man, it's got a uh, water wheel down there, and those are sheep um, that I believe you can actually pet. A uh, nice windmill. This is a beautiful little place, and the purple shop is ice cream. The purple one is the ice cream and waffles. I can tell. Okay, <laughs> Ross is fixated on ice cream and waffles, so that is what we're doing right now. We're going, we're going to find, I, I don't think I've had ice cream and waffles in a long, long, long time. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yep. And hot. We're going that way or this way? Uh, I think it's this way and you walk up along that road. I don't know. Hey, let's walk. Look. We'll find out. Find out for sure. <laughs> Place looks very quiet today. I hope things are open. 
I don't think anything's open to be honest with you. Or they have air conditioning and that's why everything's the doors are closed. Or they could definitely have air conditioning. I agree with him 100%. Straight. I think we do too. Somewhere there's a bridge to cross over from this water. We just have to figure out which way that is. Uh, Maybe where the uh, ribbons are? Possibly. Yes. Down the, over here, take the steps and... Yeah, there we go. So here's our entrance to Strawberry Town. Or actually not Strawberry Town. This Strawberry is more Village. the Strawberry Village, I should say. Brookside Town is its official name. Okay, so Brookside Town Brookside is the Town official name. And there's a nice little statue for you guys to take a peek at. How about that in there? You like that? This is a very... Wow, the temperature just dropped 10 degrees in here. I bet so. <laughs> Ross is behind me. He said the temperature just dropped about 10 degrees when he stepped inside the uh, covered area there. Check this view out. That's pretty nice. Strawberry Town, right? There's a sign, guys. How cool is that? I don't know if we're gonna find any shops open, but we're certainly gonna look. This is so cool. In Rayong, Thailand, of all places. It looks like we're in Am Amsterdam. Souvenirs, food and drink. <laughs> Fast food menu. Must be closed today for some reason. Not exactly sure why, but there's a sales office for something. I'm not sure what they sell. I'm disappointed. I am too. I'm smelling sheep, but I'm not smelling ice cream and waffles. I know, I smell the sheep too, but <laughs> no ice cream and waffles. It's a great windmill now. Yeah, I mean, here's a little close up of the windmill, guys. Uh, no so you can see there. it. Yeah, no wind, obviously. But I'll walk along here so you guys can get a better look at the fountain and all the flowers, all the pretty little things around here. And here's the sheep farm. There's the old water wheel. It's so cool that they have an old water wheel uh, here. <laughs> You kind of forget for a second when you're standing here that you're in the middle of Thailand. It's uh, <laughs> it's uh, very unique. Very, very, very unique. That's where we came from. Wow, what a view. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, I have to say. I'm going to assume as I climb the hill here that we're going to get... I don't know if these are people's homes or what exactly. Ross, so are those people's apartments? They look like apartments for rent, yeah. What it looks like to me. Okay, I'm gonna follow him because he seems to know where he's going, so the Amazon Trail, according to that sign. So let's continue to walk and continue to see what we can see very interesting even if you look back through the woods you can see the houses there pretty good looking homes from what i can see what? I think it might be or condos apartments. apartments apartments or hotel rooms so they're too small to be those apartments that look more like a hotel of some type there's a sign here on the left that'll tell us what it is though it is a hilly park. Hilly park. Hilly park. There we go. I'm gonna say it's a hotel. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go with hotel. Here's I a look back. Cheap. Here's a look back, guys, so you can get a nice little view of everything that's below us. And Ross is gonna go play with the animals because that's what he does. <laughs> Yes, you are literally watching a man pet a sheep. It happens. Boy, this, this one, look at it, has not been sheared and panting 
like crazy because it's so hot and the ones that have been sheared they're barely panting look how look how full this one is over here before it's been shaved compared to one that has been shaved this thing can barely can keep himself cool that one looks like it's gonna be diet you're dying over there oh it's two of them little white baby and then the um chocolate covered what is the sign right here that says is that bot 20 bot and 50 bot so three for 50 so i imagine they're selling pictures you take your picture here and there's probably somebody do doing something where they take pictures it looks like to me you'd sit and somebody would be here to do it during the busy time well hey guys you look like you want to be pet yes you do hi you're the friendly ones that's awesome they even have a little very very miniature waterfall here you guys know i'm obsessed with waterfalls and this is not exactly a waterfall but it's the closest thing i've seen to a waterfall in a long time so we're gonna go with that and with that being said i'm gonna shut it down i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i will see you on the next one no matter what you do today be sure you do more life